In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to use the Tech Draw Workbench to turn your model into an engineering drawing that can be printed and shared with a manufacturer or whatever. The idea here is to select a view of your model and then switch to the Tech Draw Workbench. In our case, we're going to start with our very simple model from our sheet metal tutorial. A link to that tutorial is listed below for your reference. That said, you should be able to follow along with any model you like, as the process should be about the same. So, here is our simple model. But before we proceed, you should know how to get to the TechDraw Workbench Preferences. To do this, first go to the TechDraw Workbench. Click here, and then click here. After the TechDraw Workbench loads, then go to Edit, Preferences, and scroll down to the TechDraw icon. Click here, and now, for example, we could click Scale. We could change the Scale view type from Page to Custom, and we could change the View Custom Scale from 1 to 2. But we're not going to do this. Instead, we will show you how to change the scale of each imported drawing as we go. So click Cancel and go to the Part Design Workbench right here. Now we're going to create our first view. We could use any view that we like. For instance, we could do this view or this view or this view. But for this example, first example, we're going to click here for the isometric view. Next, from the Part Design Workbench, we're going to click here on the Model tab, and then we're going to click on Cut. Now we're going back to the Tech Draw Workbench. Click here, and come down, and click here. Next, we want to click this icon right here, the Insert Default Page. And to import our view, we click right here, Import View. And you can see that we have imported the view into our drawing. Next, we're going to click on the word View. And we're going to the Data tab right here. And we're going to change Page to Custom. And we're going to change the scale to 2, 2.0. And we should point out, if you want to change the line width on the drawing, you select any line, for instance, this line. Click on this View tab right here. Come down to where it says Line Width right here and change this value. We're going to leave it as is in our particular case. Now to move the drawing, we could click on a blank space, for instance, here, or we could click on the view title right down here, and we can drag the drawing to a place of our choice. Now to insert the second view of our drawing, of our model, let's click right here on this tab. Then let's come up and click on this icon right here to get the right-hand view. Now let's click once again on Cut. Come back to this tab right here, Page and click on this icon right here to insert the view. Next, we'll move this over. And let's come back over here and make sure we're on the Data tab and look for the Scale Type. And we want to change that to Custom, just like we did before. And we're going to change the Scale to 2.0. And here is our second view. We'll park that right up here for the moment. And to get our third view of the model, we once again click on this tab right here. And we come up and select this view right here, the front view. Make sure Cut is selected. Let's go back now to the Page tab. 
and once again click on this icon right here, Insert View. Let's move the view to a more convenient place. Make sure it's selected. Come over, make sure that we're on the Data tab here. For the scale type, let's change that to Custom, and let's change the scale to 2.0, just like we did for the other drawings. Next, we want to apply a hatch to the hole, so come over and click on the hole right here, and then come up and click on this icon right here. Note it may be at a different location on your toolbar, but you're looking for the Apply Geometric Hatch to Face. Click there, and click OK. And for this view right here, carefully click on the hole, come over and click on the same icon as before, right here, and click OK. Now we're ready to start applying dimensions, but first let's check one thing. Come over and click on Edit. Come down to Preferences, right here. Once the Preferences window opens, come down to this Tech Draw icon right here. Click on that. Now click on Dimensions, right here, this tab. And check and make sure Show Units is checked. It is in our case, so we're going to click Cancel. Now let's move view number two down here for the moment, and view number one more to the center of the screen. Now for our first dimension, we click this line right here, the left line, and we control click the right line. Notice that they both turn green. Now we click this icon right here, insert horizontal dimension. 44 millimeters. We can bring that down to right here. Next, let's zoom in. I'm using the mouse wheel and click this line right here and control click this line right here. Notice they both turn green. Once again, let's click this icon right here, insert horizontal dimension. And we'll raise that up to right here. Next, let's click here and control click here. And then let's click this icon right here to insert the angle dimension. And let's manipulate that to a convenient place. That looks good right there. Next, let's click this bend right here, this line. And let's come up and click this icon right here, Insert Radius Dimension. And again, let's position that at a convenient place. That looks good right there. Continuing on now, let's click on this dot right here. Notice it turns green. Control click this dot till it turns green. Carefully point. Now we have two green dots. Now let's click on this icon here Insert Vertical Dimension. And let's move that inside. Next, we're going to once again click on this dot here. And this top line right here will Control Click. And Insert Vertical Dimension. And we'll move that outside. Now let's come in and click on this dot right here and control click on this dot. And let's click on this icon right here, Insert Horizontal Dimension. And that will give us the thickness of our sheet metal. Next, let's come down to View 002 right here and carefully click on the circle, not on the inside, but on the edge. And notice the circle turns green. Now let's come up and click right here, Insert Diameter Dimension. And we can move that to a convenient place. Right there, for instance. Now in View 002, let's click on this line. And Control click this line right here on the right side. And they should both turn green. 
There we go. Now come up and let's click on this icon right here, Insert Horizontal Dimension. And let's position that right here. Now let's click on this line right here and control click this line. Notice they're both green and then we click on this icon right here, insert vertical dimension. And let's move that out to the side. So we've got the side view right here, view 001 and view 002, we've dimensioned that. Next, let's show a dimension on our perspective view. We'll take this line for instance and then we click this icon right here, Insert Length Dimension. And you'll notice that it does it, but it's inaccurate. Should be 40 millimeters. To fix that, we go back to this tab right here. Go to Perspective View. Click on the same line. Now come up and click on this icon right here link dimensions to 3D geometry. Now we double click this right here and say OK. Go back, click on this tab, and you'll notice now our dimension is correct. OK, now that we have our drawing dimensioned, let's go over a few extra points. One thing we can do, for instance, is we can delete a measurement. So we could, for instance, click on here and just hit the delete key. And then we can just as easily add it back by clicking on this line right here. Control click on this line right here. Notice they're both green. And click on this icon right here. And our dimension is back. Next to change the number of decimal places that is shown, we can come over, click on the dimension, and come over to here, and under Format Spec, let's change that W to an F. And you'll notice now that we have three decimal places. We can come back, click there again, make that a 2, and we've got two decimal places. Let's return that to its original 3W. Another thing to note is that if we select a view and we hit the space bar, that view disappears. We can hit the space bar and it comes back. And finally, we can come up to this icon right here, this one right here, click that, and notice that it turns off all of the dotted line boxes around each drawing. We can just as easily turn them back on by clicking here once again, if I can do it, and click here. And now let's give a caption to each one of our views. To start with, we click here, and over here where it says caption, we type in perspective view. P E R S P E C T I V E V I E W. Next, we'll label View 001. Give that a caption of Front View. And finally, View 002 will give that the caption of Side View. And finally, we can give our drawing a name. Click here on the green dot, and let's type in TechDraw Demo. And we can enter any of these other fields by clicking on the green letter. We'll do Design by Name here, for instance. Click there, we'll type in 321 Step by Step. And you can do this on any of the fields on the drawing. And that concludes this demonstration of the FreeCAD TechDraw Workbench. Remember to subscribe and like. And thanks for watching.